Hey guys, Jonathan the PC Smith one Before we get into the benchmarks, I want to talk a little bit about the purpose of this video. The purpose is not to compare the 380X, 280X, and 390X, because the 390X is going to beat the other two, obviously. That's just a given. The focus of the video is to give viewers graphics card upgrade options within a certain budget. For example, let's say you have a GTX 750 Ti or an R7 260X and you're looking to upgrade because you want to run your games at higher graphics settings and gain more frames per second. But you don't have enough money to drop on a GTX 980 Ti or an R9 Fury X. Let's say you have a budget of about $190 to $220. Then the 380X is a great option for you. If you had a budget of $370 to $400, then the 390X would be a great option. Some of you might be asking, why are you not using any NVIDIA graphics cards in these benchmarks to compare between the two? The reason is because there's nothing from NVIDIA that can beat the 380X and the 390X within their respective price ranges. Let me repeat that again. NVIDIA doesn't have anything that can beat the 380X and the 390X for the same price. Can the GTX 970 beat the R9 380X? Absolutely. But it's $100 more expensive than the 380X and therefore it's in a new price range. Similarly, can the GTX 980 beat the R9 390X? Totally. But it's $100 more expensive on average than the R9 390X. Therefore it's a whole new price range and a whole new tier of performance. I know you guys probably hear this a lot from other YouTubers, but I am not an AMD fanboy and I am not an NVIDIA fanboy. I use both. I have an NVIDIA graphics card in my gaming laptop. In my gaming desktop, I have an AMD card. I like both and I use both. I'm not trying to exclude one graphics card company over another in this video. I'm just giving you the best graphics cards within this price range that will give you the best performance for your money. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I hope this video helps those who have a low to mid-range graphics card decide if they want to upgrade and what kind of performance they can expect to get if they upgrade. First, I didn't include separate benchmarks for the 380X and the 280X. They offer basically the same performance. They were always one to two frames a second within each other, and there was only one occasion where the 380X pulled ahead of the 280X by about three to four frames a second. So they offered basically the same performance, and that's why I didn't do separate benchmarks for the two. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's check out those benchmarks.